What is up guys, it's your boy Sol, I'm here, back with another World of Warcraft video for the War Within, and today we're talking about the insane changes that happened to prevent in the boxes in the last 12 hours, and if you have been playing the last 12 hours, or if you, if you just woke up today and suddenly the prevent in the box market is way worse than it once was, well, there's a reason for it, and I'll be talking about that in today's video. Now, for a long time, people have been asking for profane tinder boxes to be more obtainable, and I'll get more into my reactions to this in just a little bit, but uh, basically, Profane Tinder boxes are used in the best weapon enchants, some of the best ring enchants, used in making sanctified alloys and even certain gear crafts and stuff like that. It is a high in demand item when it comes to the end game of the War Within. And it's also one of the less um, obtainable items, so demand is high and supply is low, or at least that is how it was. Now, over the last two weeks, Blizzard has tried to combat this by making certain changes to Delves, for example, which is been the main way of farming profane tinder boxes. So for example, one week ago we had this change right here, which made it so that all items could drop from any Delve's heavy trunks, which includes all of these items right here. And that means that profane tinder boxes can now drop from any Delve from those boxes, instead of having to farm the uh, Nightfall Sanctum for example, in Hallowfall. In addition to that, there's another change they did where you can now get between 1 and 2 regions when you doing tier 6 delves I believe, and when doing tier 8 you can get up to 3 reagents per trunk, and you have 2 trunks at the end of the delve, so you can technically get 6 tinder boxes at the end of a tier 8 delve, if you got lucky. Now, even with those changes for the last 1.5 weeks, Blizzard thought that's not good enough, because Tinder boxes still remained very high in price, and um, still supply was very low, demand was very high, so they thought we have to do something even more drastic. And I'll tell you what, this recent change is indeed quite drastic. So the most recent change that Blizzard made, which is what we're talking about today, is this one right here, which is Delve Tuning. Blizzard has adjusted Delve regions, including adding a profaned Tinder box trader. So. Blizzard. Profession reagents that drop in Delves have recently been in lower supply than intended. With hotfixes that are now uh, live, we have made the following adjustments. Number 1. Delver's pouch of reagents sold by Sir Finley Murgleton at the Delver's headquarters in Donegal now costs 500 undercoin and used to be 1.5k and contains 3 random Del reagents, used to be 2. Now, for me, this one should even be less than 500 because even for 500, there is no no chance I'm buying that one, so yeah, that, that one is just worthless anyway, if you ask me at least, because you get 150, I believe, per tier 8 bountiful, so that's like 600 per day, and that takes you about 1 to 2 hours to do, or like 1 and 1 and a half, depends on your group, and if you have a group for all of them, if you're pugging all of them, let's just say 1 hour, and you get enough to buy one of these bags, so three random Delve reagents. That is terrible. But number two, profane tinder boxes can now be purchased from blacksmithing supplies vendors Borgos and Sophie Batelsworn in exchange for three ringing deeps ingots, or three vial of Kaheti oil, or three Viridian charm caps, or three gloom fathom hides. Now. If you have been playing the last couple of weeks, you probably know these materials are quite worthless, or at least they used to be. They sold for about 1 to 2 and 3 gold each prior to this change. Now, I'm just going to show you guys where this vendor is, just in case some of you don't know where they are. They did state blacksmithing vendors, so for example here you have one of them. So I'm, I'm just going to show you that one. So go down here to the blacksmithing vendor in Dornagal, you can talk to this guy, and he will allow you to trade any of these items for a profane tinder box. Now, currently, the Ringing Deep's ingot is used in quite a lot of other crafts, so that is the least valuable one to trade, and even the Vial of Kaheti Oil, I would say, is also not the one you should go for when it comes to trading, but the Gloom Fathom Hides, usually, and also Viridian Charm Caps. Now, even now, they were listed for 100 gold on the auction house just before I pressed record here, so you could get tinder boxes for about 300 gold for one tinderbox, which also kind of matches the auction house price of tinderboxes. So let's just go and check that out real quick, because the prices has absolutely plummeted to the floor, and even dug itself beneath the floor. It's, it, it, yeah, it, it's in the cellar right now. So profane tinderboxes at the moment are selling for 365 gold, and Viridian charm caps, for example, 
are selling for 100 gold. There we go, so there are 100. So you can get 300 gold now for a tinderbox, which to me, that sounds a little bit too good to be true. And honestly, I might just buy a couple of these just to see if it goes up a little bit. But honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, 100 gold for the zone, they were 2 gold yesterday, so it still feels bad to buy them right now. But let's talk about what this does to the market. So I mean, first of all, Tinderboxes has gone from about 7,000 gold each to 360 gold each on the EU side, so they've gone down by 6,500 gold. Likewise, we have a couple of items that use Tinderboxes as their main reagents, and they will also go down in price, many of them already has. So for example, we have the Ring Enchant, and I'm just going to use the Radiant Haste as the example here, but any Radiant Enchant uses Profane Tinderboxes, so for example in Ring we have Radiant Haste, Radiant Critical Strike, Radiant Mastery, all of those, and they were selling for 14,000 gold each yesterday, and they are now 7.4k. Now, once again, Tinderboxes have gone down by 6.5k gold, so crafting this item is now 6.5k gold cheaper, and as you can see, the profits have gone down by about 6.5k, so even though you're making 6.5k less, it also costs you 6.5k less as well. So at the end here, you end up making the same gold from this item. It is just, instead of selling something for a lot and spending half of it to actually craft the item, you're just selling it for a lot now, and the crafting cost has been massively reduced. So the Radiant items might be selling a lot more now, because they are still a good ring enchant, but in the past, paying 14,000 gold for a ring enchant, that is quite a lot. But for 6.5k, that is a lot more affordable for the mass amount of players. Now, likewise, we also have Sanctified Alloys, which used to be going for 4.4k, and that is 1.6k now, and the reason for that is that crafting this also requires a profane tinderbox, so every single craft has gone down in price by a massive amount. Now you also have Authority of Radiant Power, the weapon enchant, has gone from about 20,000 gold, it's a little bit hard to say, but between 18,000 and 24,000, and down to 14,000 right now. So gone down by about 6.5k-ish once again, because it's costing you a lot less to craft, so yeah, there we go, that one as well gone down a lot. Now I also want to show you guys what happened to these items. As you can see, they were selling for 1 gold, 2 gold, 3 gold, basically between 1 and 3 gold for the entire week. And then suddenly, when this happened, this change happened, they spiked to 400 gold, 1000 gold, 500 gold, and I'm just gonna say, when things like this happens, don't just instantly start buying. It's obvious that people had thousands of these items laying around, so anyone who bought Viridian Charm Cap, for example, for 500 gold, I don't feel bad for you. Like, let the hype settle and then come back and buy. So for example, when this happened yesterday, I was already in bed, I was getting ready to just go to sleep, and I got pinged on Discord like never before, and I had to wake up, turn the computer on, see the price, and I was like, nah, I'm just gonna go back to sleep and wake up and see what happens. Now, there are definitely some people that made a lot of gold on this, because even though it wasn't really obvious that this would happen, I mean, we kind of knew for a long time that tinderboxes would be getting nerfed or like buffed in drop rate or nerfed in demand or like buffed supply in some way, shape or form and that we could trade other Dell reagents to tinderboxes kind of makes sense in retro retrospective, but I'm just going to say I did not buy any of them. I probably have a couple hundred of each, but that's not really a lot, and I'm just going to probably buy them soon, and maybe buy some tinderboxes as well, just because now they are so cheap, and um, yeah, I can get a lot of crafts done and make those items for cheap. And Radiant Charm Caps going for 100 gold when they were 200 gold merely two hours ago seems a little bit on the cheap side to me personally, so maybe I'll buy a couple of those and get myself some 300 gold tinderboxes instead of 7000 gold that they were yesterday. So tinderboxes have gone down a lot in price, and if you're if you're betting on them to go back up, I'm just going to tell you, they probably won't. Um, they, they might go up again a little bit, but they will probably never reach 1000 gold plus ever again. I'm just going to say that right now because there's too many reagents in play when it comes to these old reagents like the Viridian Charm Caps and stuff like that, people have banked thousands of them for whatever reason. 
Now, at the end here, I kind of want to go back to this original post and talk about my opinion on this, and I honestly feel like they nerfed the, um, the um, rarity of tinderboxes by way too much, to the point like now they're selling for 350 gold each, and they went from being super valuable to being kind of valueless, like they, they, they're really not even valuable right now. They are just a random reagent that you get and you can even trade for, so I feel like they nerfed it way too much, and they crushed the rarity of that item by way too much once again, and it's kind of like you ask your parents for a cat and they give you 4 whales, 10 horses and 2 dinosaurs because you wanted an animal or you wanted to have a pet. And instead of just giving you the cat that you asked for, they have to go overboard. And I feel like that's what happened here. We uh, players asked for tinderboxes to maybe be slightly more obtainable and not be 10,000 gold each. But I don't think people ask for them to be 300 gold each either. To me it's always fun to have some items be kind of rare and be kind of valuable. Like when you are, if, if you're just doing your world quest and you happen to loot a tinderbox, because when you are doing world quest and you pick up dirt piles, tinderboxes could drop from dirt piles. And I just know from personal experience, when I was doing my world quests and my weekly activities hunting rares, and I just happened to pick up a dirt pile and I got a tinderbox from that, that was a feels good moment. Now, if that happens and you get 300 gold, I'm just gonna be like, who, who even cares? It's no longer a feel good moment, and to me having rare items that you can both farm for and randomly obtain while playing the game, it's good for everyone, even casual players, when you get something that is valuable, that feels better than just getting something that's not even valuable at all. Now, adding a trader to tinderboxes would be fine, but adding it on a 3 to 1 quantity trade is way too overpowered. Like, when you do that, and you know that the items you were trading for, for example, both the Gloom Fadim Hide and the Radiant Charm Caps were selling for 1, 2, and 3 gold each prior to this change. When you are able to trade in items that are selling for 1 and 2 gold each for something that used to be selling for 7,000 gold, you already know what's gonna happen. That's gonna drag the price of that valuable item down to the absolute floor, dig a hole in the floor and to the actual seller. Now, I might sound a little bit aggressive here, like, as if I've invested in the tinderboxes or something, which I did in the past, but I made it very clear that my tinderbox investment was an investment for the raid, and for mythic raids specifically. So I bought tinderboxes for 4,000 gold, and I sold them for 11,000 gold. So I've already offloaded my tinderboxes. I am more than happy with whatever happens to the tinderboxes. I'm just talking from a somewhat objective point of view, and obviously from a gold farmer's point of view as well, but even just a player. I've been spending a lot of time the last two weeks just uh, playing the game more than farming. I have five characters at 600 plus item level right now, I'm doing heroics on four characters every single week, so I feel like I'm playing the game quite a lot, and just from playing the game, it feels good to have some items be valuable that you can obtain, and get that small, not adrenaline, but dopamine rush when you get that item from whatever you are doing. So what I would have liked to see happen here was that they would add this trader, but instead of having it be 3 to 1, I would like to see it be 10 to 1, so trading in 10 charm caps for example, for 1, or maybe even more than 10, maybe 20. I don't know, 10 or 20, 3 is just way too little and these items are way too common to obtain, so yeah, it's, it's just gonna crash the market and I would not be surprised if we see tinderboxes go even more down in price before they might eventually go up again as well. It's a little bit hard to predict depending on how many people had bought these items ahead of time and there are some people that probably have thousands of those items just sitting around in their war bank because once again, even though you had pretty much no reason to buy lots of them, you could just buy them as a speculative investment, hoping they go up in the future, as they have now, and they were selling for 2 gold each. So if you spend, uh, the, let's just say you spent 10,000 gold, and you bought 5,000 of that material, well now those 10,000 gold are worth actually millions, so you turned 10,000 gold into like over a million gold, super easily. Now I'm going to end this video on a positive note by saying that anyone who has not invested into tinderboxes 
This change will probably have less of an impact than you think, because yes, items are cheaper now, they're selling for less, but they also cost you way less to make. Once again, referring back to the Radiant Haste enchants, and also, like for example, this one right here, Radiant Haste, Sanctified Alloys, Authority of Power, all of these items, they are selling for a lot less on the auction house, but they also cost a lot less to make. And overall, the profit margins you're getting from your sale will be roughly the same, so the actual impact that it this has on gold making is probably smaller than you think and what you used to make a profit on in the past you will probably make the same profit on this time around but instead of selling for example the radiant power weapon enchant instead of selling that for 20,000 gold you're going to be selling it for 13 but if you used to make 2,000 gold profit in the past you will probably make 2,000 gold profit this time around as well now let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below i would love to hear what people have to say about this change are people happy are they mad are they worried let me know in the comments down below what do you think and if you want to have a if access to more gold making information including early access to my gold making videos then check out my word within gold making guide to the link down below in the pinned comment where we have a full guide made for gold making including gold farms solo farms group farms we talk about how to make gold with professions and a bunch more stuff in that guide we have investments uh, advice tips and tricks how to play the auction house it's just a bunch of things when it comes to gold making put into one place and you get access to a private gold making discord community with a lot more helpful people that are helping you make gold and sharing their strategies and sharing their journey. It's a good place to be for gold making. I am also in that Discord server myself. That's also where I post early access to videos for example and we even have exclusive videos as well. So you get earlier access to content and you get more content as well. Check it out through the link down below in the pinned comment and thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you again in the next video very soon.